Hello, so today I'm going to show you how I change out my Novo Pin Echo. Um, this is by Novo Nord Nordisk, I think so, I'm not sure. And uh, this is a reusable insulin pin. I'm going to take you over to the table here so that you can have a better view of how to do this. Then we can talk a little bit about the pen. So let's first show you how to change the cartridge. So when you go to the pharmacy, you'll get a box like this and you just open it up and there will be your cartridges inside. I only have one left, but usually they're attached, kind of like a pack of gum. So it looks like this. And you can see the stopper is right there and your normal top lid. All right, so you'll have your pin here and you can see this is how the needles attach and you just use the same pin caps that you use on the plastic ones. They're the same, uh, so that will be discarded. But now you're left with this. You can see that it has been coiled all the way up and there's no insulin left to distribute. And you just twist like that. So you click and you twist it off and lift up. At this point, pop down. And now this can be discarded as well. So this is what we're left with. And now we're just going to twist all the way up. And you can see this is kind of loose, but that's normal. And then you just want to push it all the way flush, flat, up against the base. Now we can take the new cartridge, file it through. It's kind of loose in there, but that's okay. And then we're going to simply twist and you hear the click. And now your pin is filled. And this can still rotate a little bit, but it'll become tighter once you start to use the plunge to go up. So I will go ahead and show you how to prime this as well. To use, and you just attach. It's sprayed out and we have little droplets on the needle. So the plunger down here will just continue to rise up and then once you'll be able to tell once you're out of insulin, you're all set to go. Let's start talking about some of the pros and cons of this pen. So we'll start with the pros and that is with this pen, it offers half unit dosages See if I can get in a little close there. Um, so with the half unit dosages being on a Medtronic insulin pump prior to this, I really was used to those kind of micro dosages that you're able to give. So having half units opposed to just full on, you know, a unit does make a difference for me and it was one of the reasons I chose to go with this pen. Another pro of this pen is of course with the metal base, it is reusable so you're using less plastic which is less waste for our environment and that can be really beneficial not only for us but for the animals and everybody the last pro to mention which might be a pro for you is that this pin when you're dialing up to give your insulin dosages all you do is you push it all the way in and when you get down to zero, it clicks in. At this point, you can see how much insulin you just gave in your last dosage. And there's also little tack marks that represent a clock so you can keep track of the hours from your last bolus. Now, with that, what leads us into the cons of the pen. And that is, uh, you know, a nice feature that I just mentioned, but for me personally, it's actually a con. I just find it really useless. For example, if I'm having lunch, say it's four units of insulin, and then I have, you know, 10 minutes later, I want to snack on an apple because I'm still hungry and I bolus two more units. At that point, I have six units on board. And the insulin pin, if I pull it out at zero, 
20 minutes later to see what I gave and push in, it's still only gonna show me two units, but really I have six units on board. So if you're not a snacker, I think it might be helpful for you, but personally, I just kind of find it useless because it's not really tallying up the amount of insulin like the Medtronic pump does and I'm sure other insulin pumps that they show you, you know, they combine the last dosages together to show you how much insulin is in your system. That's actually a con for me. I just don't really use the benefit of it, but the half unit is definitely helpful. And then the other thing that might be a con is it is a little bit heavy, so it was definitely an adjustment for me to get used to how to inject the insulin um, and hold it in my hand to kind of, you know, make it the most comfortable so that I can get uh, an easy load in from the little clicker here because it's it's just stiff it's kind of hard to explain but it's just a little stiff so you have to make sure you have a good grip before you're giving your shot but anyways those are my pros and cons of the novo echo insulin pen i've had it for about eight months now and i really do like it i know that there are other insulin pens out there Personally, I think there's definitely some reusable ones that are better than this, but unfortunately my insurance did not cover it, so this is what I was left with. But anyway, um, I hope that this was helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna go take Sterling for a walk, and I will see you in the next video.